Hi everybody, I'm Homesteading Barbie. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I do my homemade moisturizer. This is a little bit different than my body butter because you're using water as the main uh, ingredient. So I noticed that my pores on my cheeks are getting a little bit big and I didn't like that. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or because I was using too much of the lard with the body butter. I don't know, but I switched and I did a few other things with extracting and clays to draw that out and it's looking much, much better. So I just wanted to eliminate this as a possibility of the problem. So uh, I still use the body butter and the whipped body butter all over my body, but for my face, I like to use this moisturizer. Now you can use this all over your body too, but I just use it on my face. Okay, so the way that you get water-based skincare products and oils to blend together is the emulsifying wax, okay? So we're gonna be working with that today. So as our water component, you can use water, you can use fermented rice, you can use a variety of different things, apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna be using my snail slime toner. This has snail slime in it, it has water, it has apple cider vinegar, and it has vitamin E in it. So it is just jam packed with awesome stuff. Uh, I'm also gonna be using the emulsifying wax, which is going to blend together my oils and my water, like I said. I'm gonna be using avocado oil. You can use almond oil, you can use coconut oil, whatever light oil you want here. I'm gonna be using lard because I think that that is one of the best full penetrating, wrinkle reducing things that you can use. If you want it to be a little bit lighter, you can use cacao butter, you can use, uh, if you want it to be heavier, you can use beeswax. There's a lot of different options there. I'm gonna be using MSM powder because it's awesome stuff and wonderful for your skin. If you wanna do a little bit of research about that, it's fantastic, um, but you can leave that out if you don't have it. I've got more vitamin E and I've got some fragrance. Vitamin E is a great preservative and the fragrance is gonna make it smell really nice. And I've also got sodium lactate for another preservative. You can leave those out if you're willing to keep it in the fridge. I don't want to take up the space in my fridge, so I put those in. I'm also going to be using a scale so that we can weigh this all out. And I also have a clean container to put it all in when I'm finished. And I really like glass, especially since there's some probiotic stuff in here with the apple cider vinegar. So you really don't want to use too much plastic for that. So let's weigh everything out. So, I am going to be doing sixty grams of the snail slime toner, and I'm going to weigh it just right into the bowl that I'm going to whip it with. You don't have to whip it. I like mine really fluffy, so I'm going to go ahead and whip it. So about that much. And then I'm going to be doing 10 grams of, this is fermented rice water. Super excellent for your skin. Perfect. And then for the oils, 10 grams of the emulsifying wax. five grams of the lard. melted and you can turn it off. Okay, and then we are going to add the oils to the liquids. And then we are going to add one teaspoon of the MSM powder. And we 
are going to put it in the fridge. And it's cool enough now, I'm going to go ahead and add the um, preservatives. So just a tiny little splash of the sodium lactate and about the same amount, a little squeeze of the vitamin E oil. And then I'm gonna do about, I don't know, 15. I'm gonna do 12 of the fragrance. Okay, so it's been in the refrigerator for about an hour and I am going to finish whipping it. Put a little bit of arrowroot powder in it and that takes it from a weird greasy thing that it is right now into a nice white fluffy octopus. Let's add that. And you really don't need much. Just a little bit is perfect. This came out so nice. how beautiful and thick that is. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then we are just going to scoop it into our jar. Look how beautiful that turned out. I am so happy with how this turned out. Look how thick and beautiful this is. And I also use this as a leave-in conditioner for my hair and it makes it so juicy and like no frizz, but also not greasy at all. So I just love this. I hope you do too. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Mwah! Thank you as always for watching.